Okay, hello everyone. So this is a short review of our lesson in chapter 1, ran random variable and probability distribution. So in chapter 1, we have tackled four lessons. So lesson 1, exploring random variable. Lesson 2, constructing probability distribution. Lesson 3, computing the mean of discrete probability distribution. Lesson 4, computing the variance and standard deviation of discrete probability distribution. So, we have example 1, itong na-discuss natin sa conference. So, three coins are those. Let x be the random variable representing the number of heads that occur. So, Tatlo daw ka, kwarta, coins, ang imuhang i-toast or imuhang i-itsa. So, unsa daw ang possible outcome? Take note, di ba, pag mag-itsa ka o coins, di ba, pag abot niya sa lupa, either hari or patay ihang outcome or head and tail. So, since tatlo ang coins, so, di ba, possible man na, di ba, possible ang outcome, na ang tatlo ma hari or head 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 so di ba possible man na mahari ang tatlo ka coin so possible pod na mapatay ang tatlo ka coin so unsa pa h h t h t t Okay, so ito na yung outcomes natin. So, pag itoast natin ang coins, possible na head, 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 or hari ang tatlo. Possible po na patay ang tatlo, T, T, T. Possible po na duha ang hari, isa ang patay, and so on. So, ito na yung possible outcomes natin. So, we've come up to 8 possible outcomes. So, ito yung under sa lesson 1. Ito yung under sa lesson 1. Exploring random variable. So, next is, since ang random variable natin is number of heads. So, let x be the random variable representing the number of heads. So, from the possible outcome, para isa, kanag 8 ka buo, isa-isa ko na ito na ugihap kung pila ang number of heads. So, there is a first. So, ihapon kung pila ang number of heads. So, since that low, so 3. Next, since wala yung heads, so 0. Next, diri, tatlo. Next, diri, uh, duha na di, uh, duha. Next, duha. Then, diri, duha, ihapon. Next, isa. Next, duha, isa. Duha, isa, isa, isa. So, isa, isa na. So, ito na yun siya. So, since ang number na involved sa variable x is 0, 1, 2, and 3 lang man. So, gi-arrange 0, 1, 2, and 3. So, next, lesson 2. Mga ni ang lesson 2. Lesson 2 is constructing probability distribution or the probability of the random variable x or p of x, probability of random variable x. So, sa 0, so, ihapon ni mo, pila ka book, zero, o nag-appear. So, since isa lang ang zero, ang probability is 1 over, then kung pila na tanan ka, ka outcome, so 8, 1 over 8. Ana lang. Okay, next is 1. Ihapon ni mo, pila ka book, 1 na nag-appear, so tatlo. So, 3 over 8. Ang denominator, mag-represent siya kung pila ka possible outcomes. Okay, next 2, ihaponin mo pila ka book 2, nag-appear, so 3. So, 3 over 8. Next 3, pila ka book 3, so 1. So, 1 over 
8. So, pag itotal na ni mo siya, magiging 8 over 8 or 1. Okay. So, mo lang ni ang lesson 2. Okay, let's proceed to lesson 3. Computing the mean of discrete probability distribution. So, the formula for mean, summation of x times px. Ibig sabihin, pag summation, i-add natin lahat ng values sa x times px. So, therefore, i-multiply na silang doon x times px. Dari ibutan ang answer. So, 0 times 1, 8 is 0. 1 times 3, 8 is 3, 8. 2 times 3, 8 is 6 over 8. 3 times 3, 8 is 3, 8. Then, summation, yung sabihin, i-add. So, i-add na tanan, ka na i-add. So, 0 plus 3, 8 plus 6, 8 plus 3, 8. The result will be 12 over 8. 3 plus 6. 9 plus 3 is 12 over 8. Or, pilamani. 1.5. So, our mean now is 1.5. So, mo lang na ang lesson 3. Diba? Dali ang no. Mo lang na ang lesson 3. So, next, let's proceed to lesson 4. Construct, computing the variance and standard deviation of discrete probability distribution. So, our formula for variance, summation of x minus mean squared times p of x. So, ibig sabihin, na anay x minus mean, x minus mean squared, and x minus mean squared times ps. So, itong tatlo ka columns ang involved sa lasong 4. So, since ang variable x, mo na sila, ang mean kay, ang na-compute natin na mean is 1.5. So, there is a first. 0 minus 1.5. So, 0 minus 1.5. So, negative 1.5. Okay, next, 1 minus 1.5. So, 1 minus 1.5. The answer is negative 0 0.5. 2 minus 1.5. So, positive 0 0.5. 3 ma minus 1.5. So, 1.5. Okay, next, ang answer sa x minus mean. Ito ang e squared or i-multiply sa sarili. So, pila answer. Negative 1.5 squared or negative 1.5 times negative 1.5 is 2.25. Kani, 0.25. 0.25. squared lang ni sila ha. Okay, next, ang answer din na column ka na i-multiply sa P of X or sa ating probability. Okay, so pag i-multiply, so 2.25 times 1 eighth, 25 times 1 eighth, Answer is 0 0.28125. Kopya hon ta nang para sukalan decimal. 0 0.28125. Okay, next point 25. So same lang man na sila 2.25 times 1 a. So same na sila ang answer. Okay, next point 25 times 3 a. Zero point zero nine three seven five. So, same na sila. Then, pag i -add, point two eight one two five. The answer will be 0 0.75. So, i-add lang natin na since ang formula is summation. So, ito na yung variance natin. So, to compute for standard deviation, simply, square root lang ang variance. 
So, since ang answer ng variance natin is 0 0.75, so square root lang. So, the answer for our standard deviation is 0 0.8660. So, our standard deviation is 0 0.8660. Or, kung two decimal places in the answer, 0 0.87. So, ana lang. Then, ato asyang i- Ato asyang i-illustrate ang iyahang histogram. Illustrate ang histogram. So, 0, 1, 2, 3. Then, ang probability the range, 1, 8, 2, 8, 3, 8, 4, 8, and so on. So, ang probability sa 1 is 1, 8. So, ano lang yung histogram. Next sa 2 is 3, 8. Ay, 0, di ay. Sa 0, tawag start. 0 is 1, 8. So, dira lang. 1 is 3, 8. So, dira. Next, 2, 3, 8, di hapon. Then, 3, 1, 8. So, ano lang yung histogram? Okay, that's it.